Hey, welcome back. Many of you have been asking, Chapman, when the heck are you going to finish the Mega Zoo? Well, soon. We built ourselves the unlimited gold farm. We've got ourselves unlimited beacons. And now we need one more final treasure. That's right. I don't want to spoil too much, though. But trust me, it's going to be pretty epic. And if you enjoyed this type of content, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Shop Happy Chappy if you need any world downloads or anything. And let's get into it. Now, the problem with the other farms, they take so much time. They take so much time to AFK at, like this one included. But I've got an idea for this farm that I think will do just fine. I think it's going to do just fine. Okay, but I got to go grab some materials. And I'm also going to need a lot of glass for this one. There's been so much epicness going on in the last couple of episodes that I am taking a little bit of a builder break. That's right. So I'm going to put together something here that isn't going to require too much effort in order to get, uh, yeah. And I'm sure you guys have figured out by now exactly what we're building. And since we've got some turtle eggs left over, we're going to bring these along with us. Only one, though. Actually, I'm horrible. I might as well bring them all in case I break some. And the other thing we're going to need is we need a whole bunch of glass for this. Um... Okay, we'll do this the old-fashioned way. No! Okay, but this and some more glass, that's pretty much... This is pretty much the only thing I'm bringing for this. We're going for another lazy man's productive farm over here. Now we need... The only thing we need... We need a river. A big river, too. Are these rivers? Does this count as a river? It does not. But this right here, this does classify as a river. And there's a pretty big section of it right there. Okay, no, actually a lot of this river classifies as a birch forest. Not good enough. Let's go find the desert. Let's see what this one says it is. Woo! Okay, this section's gonna do. We just need to test it and make sure there's no... Yeah. Okay, good enough. And the first thing I wanna do is I wanna try and clear this out to try and make it about as square as I can. And this right here, this is going to be absolutely perfect for what we need. That is pretty much all river right there. That is like all river. What am I doing? Now I'm just going to take all of these blocks here and I'm just going to build these walls up all the way to the surface. Okay, we've got our little area here all marked out. We're going to see just how functional this is. We might have to expand it out to the other part of the river, but I think this is going to be just fine. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig the whole bottom out here. Just one more layer. I want to dig it down one more. Hello, copper. We're going to replace the whole bottom with some glass. That's not the bottom. Oh, that's not slick pick. And now what this is going to do, this is going to stop any of the axolotls or the glow squid from spawning in here. So this should actually kind of narrow it down and isolate it. Now what we need to do is we need to build an area or we need to build a section for us to contain our turtle egg, which is going to go right there. Turtle eggs also need a two block air gap above them. So we're going to have to remove these. And that is it right there. So that should be enough in order to pull any drown or attract any drown in. So let's take this, go like that, like that. Sorry, not that. I know I should probably eat. Just hang on. I'm excited. Then all we're going to need is a piece of soul sand right there at the bottom. I'm going to need a water bucket. Okay, that is it right there. Now all I need to do is just build a chute. See, this is where I needed all the glass. But I need to go 125 above that floor right there, which was 54. And I can already see a drown down there. But you can see he's going for the side, no! which is not at all what we want. See how he's hanging around there? So we're going to have to thicken that up around the side. Which is going to use up more glass, but that's okay. Oh, and we already have one trapped in there. So it's already working. Amazing. Okay, 174. That is exactly 120 above the floor down there. So now I need to go up 
One, two, three, four, six, seven. This is where I'm gonna stand. Pretty much directly over the center of this farm. So now I need to build this out and around. And as you can see there, you can see the glass. The glass likes to do weird things. It transfers light from the surface deep, deep down underneath the ground. So let's just jump down here. We're gonna come straight to the surface and we're gonna replace all of these. Wrong one. There, and instantly we get pretty much, what are we at? Light level six right on the surface. We're probably gonna have to get our hands on some tinted glass. So I'm gonna be standing right here. So that means I'm gonna want them to drop down right on top of this block. But we also don't want any of these guys to burn. So we're gonna have to give them a roof. That's too high. We'll just go trap door right there. Water bucket. We need to run to the end. Drop that. Oh, uh oh. Ah! Slab. Trap door above us. Double chest to the side because we're probably going to have lots of loot from this with a hopper. This is where we're going to slice our ankles from. And now the only thing I need uh, is a roof. We need some shards. So if we head this way, look at all those beacons. Leave me alone. I said, leave me alone. And if we go down this way, wrap around here, walk along this wall, do the old dipperoo. Get out of here. Oh, ta-da. Okay, what do we need? We'll come back for the clay ball because it almost feels criminal not to take all of them while they're grown. Okay, let's head back and see how much tinted glass this will make us. We're going up that way. Hooey! Okay, sir. Sell me some more glass, please. Oh, no. And how much tinted glass can we make? Let's see. Four stacks? Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Um, sir, can I have my emeralds back? Thank you. Ooh, this is exciting. Now we just need to glass this entire roof here. Okay, and with that done, you can just see how dark it gets down there. And because we've got the glass down there, there's gonna be no axolotls and there's gonna be no glow squid whatsoever. Now it's just time for me to see how the farm works, but I didn't bring my ender chest and I'm all out of fireworks. This is going, oh boy. Whee! Oh my God. Nope. Sugar cane. Makes paper. Creepers. Make gunpowder. Gunpowder plus paper makes fireworks. Fireworks means home time. Now, the last thing that we're going to need for this is we need some kelp. And we're going to need a bit of it, too. So I need to find myself an ocean again. Have I checked this one yet? Oh, my gosh. And a silk touch and mending. They can just stay there. We've got another. That's number three. That is number. Oh, what is going on here? Ready? Death trap. I can't believe it. We've got three enchanted golden apples now. There's my ocean biome. And here is my kelp. Give me my kelp. Okay, now that we've got our kelp, we just need to sneak our way in here. And we've got to make every single one of these a water source. So up to the top we go. Yay. Okay, once we're at the top, we should be able to now jump down here and remove any of the kelp that is left inside. Boop. And just like that, we should have a water source, water source, water source that takes us all the way to the top. Let's see. Here we go, up the elevator. Now, this is what I brought all the other stuff for, so we're gonna go there. Then on the back side, we need to put an observer, but it needs to be facing backwards. Like that. Solo block, redstone dust, and then in front of the observer, we need to have a piece of string. And with that all done and all our kelp and everything in place, yep, go away, water. And as you can see, we've already got a drowned coming up before the water even runs out. So this is, um, this is pretty sweet. Okay, but no copper yet, but I have an idea. Now I got it. You can see him down there. He is just so slow. See how slow he is? 
I kind of have an idea in order to try and speed this up a little bit. Look at them all coming. Oh my. We even have more coming. Okay, so this is not a bad little stream of drowned coming through here. We got an unbreaking fishing rod. Okay, but yes, they are just creeping along down there so slow. So we need to go through here. Let's grab a little bit of this ice and we'll take this back and see if this will actually improve. How fa Oh my gosh. See if it'll improve the rates of the farm. Okay, we'll just do that for now just to see if that helps at all. Now I'm just going to go light up around the farm a little bit to help out with any spawns at nighttime because we don't want anything spawning out here around the radius. All right, all the torches are placed. Let's go up and see just how good the rates of this farm actually are now. Here, drowned. And we're already up to four. Okay, I'm going to set up the auto clicker. I'm going to sit here for about 10 hours and go. Hopefully none of the bird things get me. Nope, they're up there flying around and it doesn't look like they can attack me. Looks like there's so many of them, they're having a hard time. Nope, they're sorting it out. Okay, we did another long AFK session. We are now at 905, 905 days. And honestly, a little underwhelming. <laughs> I thought I would have way more than that. Same with the Nautilus shells. I mean, we don't really need Nautilus shells, but that's... Uh... Here's the beauty. I've already been sorting through this. One, two, three. We have four tridents. That had loyalty, right? Oh, yeah, there it is right there. Oh, come to me. So yeah, a little underwhelming, but at the same time, it's something from doing absolutely nothing. Only 45, not even a stack, not even a stack of blocks. Do you know how many hours that was? I already know for a fact that I could farm, <laughs> I could farm the copper faster. Okay, but we're almost there. We're almost ready for this big upgrade right here. We just need one more thing, and that is an insane amount of bone meal. I need, I need so much bone meal. Like, whatever this turns into, we're gonna need, <laughs> like, a hundred times more than this. So we might be setting up a giant bone meal farm. Okay, now with all of this gold, we're almost there. We almost have enough for all of the treasure that we need for the upgrade. Let's just see how much bone this turns into. Actually, that turned into a lot more bone block than I thought. That's still gonna be nowhere near enough for what I have planned. Time to set up a couple of bone meal farms, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace!